from April the 10th. So Missouri bill, bill banning anonymity of atheist plaintiffs in lawsuits passes House. Mm-hmm. So a bill will paint a giant target on atheists' back for any Christian vigilante who wants to attack them has just passed the Missouri State House. Mm. A little background here. Whenever a church-state separation lawsuit lists the plaintiffs, it's not unusual to see initials in places of their in place of their real names, uh, if not a pseudonym like Jane Doe. Mm-hmm. That's for good reason. If their names ever became public, they could be stalked or bullied or worse in their communities, mm-hmm. many of uh, which are extremely extremely religious, which is why there are church-state separation problems in the first place. Judges understand this. They may require the plaintiffs to appear before them or use their real names in sealed documents, but they usually allow the people to remain anonymous in the public record if there's a legitimate reason for it. Missouri State Representative Hardy Billington, a Republican Baptist who recently said his goal in office was to stand up for Christian values, wants those atheists to suffer. This is editorializing, but... Okay. Essentially correct. Say. Billington filed a bill earlier this year, HB 728, that would force adult plaintiffs to use their real names in any cases involving church-state separation and only in cases involving church-state separation. Apparently, if you sue over a Ten Commandments monument outside of a public school, everyone needs to know your real name. Hmm. Not so in other kinds of lawsuits. Yeah, I remember it's reading because, this. Uh, God damn it. It's because universally Christians are being persecuted. That's that's why that's happening. Right. Because of all the Christians that want to hide their names when they bring lawsuits. That's, yep. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah. Uh, there is no benefit to the public here. All Billington is doing is creating a new obstacle to deter atheists from coming forward about potentially illegal issues. Those who still go through with it have to deal with the inevitable Christian backlash. Why are we treating these plaintiffs different from other ones? Why is church-state separation the one issue in which anonymity is not an option? When Eric Wells, the Missouri Assistant State Director for American Atheists, spoke in front of the House Judiciary Committee urging them to reconsider this thoughtless piece of legislation, he offered a long list of atheist plaintiffs who were threatened and faced harassment after bringing forth a lawsuit. In one famous case from 2000, for example, Wells noted that the speculation about their identities was so intense that before the trial, the district court judge issued an unusual order specifically instructing the school district's representatives not to reveal the family's identities to anyone for any reason and threatening anyone who violated the order with contempt. Lawyers from the Freedom From Religious Foundation also testified against the bill, saying it arms bullies with a weapon they can turn against victims and that it would replace judicial deference with an inflexible rule that puts real people in danger. It's not just atheists at risk here. Billington would be targeting progressive Christians and members of minority faiths as well. And yet on Monday, the Missouri House voted in favor of Bill 10144. It now moves to the Republican-dominated Senate. If this bill passes, people could get killed. That's not hyperbole. Christian threats are very, very real. What's odd is how that doesn't seem to be a concern. Well, this is all editorializing here. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, I'm you, stopping now. Yeah, yeah I was so, say. Uh, this is this is disgusting. Yeah. Yep. It's uh, when you said, "Oh, it could persecute uh, progressive Christians and members of minority faiths." I'm like, "Yeah, no, he yeah. designed it well for his intended purpose." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. When uh, what do you do? When, you know, when you Who's live being in persecuted. When, Again, <laughs> when you live in a small town and you know your local courthouse or you know your your local school is flagrantly violating federal law, right? Um, you know, maybe that's that's probably going to start to get under your skin after a while. Yeah. You know, maybe years and years of seeing well, just absolute. Flat out law breaking, blatant uh, crap uh, everywhere. Yeah. Flagrant, yes. Yeah, and, and you feel you feel like 
You should do something. start to feel crazy. Like, does no one care? You know? This is why we need... This is why we need atheist communities. This is why we need to reach out to each other and... Stand up and be counted. Yes. I'm I'm, I'm putting on my my, my Eric hat. I'm I'm really... (laughs) Not doing a good job. Well, no, you're you're doing well. Yeah, this yeah. is this is why we need the community mm-hmm. and each other. If if you don't have a local community, I think if you you can reach out to American Atheist and they have resources for you to find a community near you or to help you build one. Yeah, Google. You're great. not alone. Right. Yeah, you're not alone, and you feeling like you're alone, and and all of us feeling like. There is no real community, no no real movement behind us is why shit like this is allowed to happen constantly. Yeah. All yeah. across the country. Organized. Basically. You're not alone. And that's we, all that's all I have. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Well, we get that in, 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 in yeah, uh, listener mail, you know. Yeah. Thanks. You guys helped me realize that. I'm not alone, and yeah, I'm just that night Mm. here. The it's the uh, I'm the only atheist in my hometown. No, you're not. Yeah, that that (laughs) that's never the case. Yeah, if you're the only person in your town, sure, sure, um, sure. You might have multiple personalities. Yeah, there might be conditions where that statement is true, but they're extreme little religious communities or something. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, no. Be surprised though. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Even in uh, small Texas towns, there's a there's a lot of people. That, doesn't matter how southern your town is. There's people that know that that's apparently there's yes. like a growing issue of priests and you know religious figures losing their face and being atheists and continuing. Yeah, no, it's the clergy be, project. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If that is you, uh, Google the clergy project and get help from the Recovering from Religion Foundation. Mm-hmm. Right. Or if you're experiencing stress and are either a believer or non-believer, et cetera, recoveringfromreligion.org. Yeah, so. there there are some horrible, horrific uh, mm-hmm. things uh, that that are a result of just the internet in general. But as a way to find community for for people, yeah. you know, that is yeah. well. You can't Th- that's find a double edged sword. That's it a double edged sword. It you, is. you can urinate you can be an anti vaxxer or a flat earther and find community, but you can also be you can also <laughs> yep. be an atheist and, and find community. You, yeah. You know. Yeah. That's how but, yeah, yeah. That's how the non open majority peoples find each other. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that's this is why it's important to to be open and not stay in the closet as it were. And set a good example for your your community if it's if it's safe and you know for us obviously we're we're out but yeah yeah yep. d- d- if if you can safely be out you know you Do should it. you should think about doing it and just try and be a good person and try and set a good example yeah 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 I mean I'm not, I'm not I'm not yeah, saying anything new but. I, hey, I don't. No. I don't know it's what else to say it. because that was a horrible, depressing story, and I. Yes. I, I yeah. feel like I want to counter it with a little bit of hope and optimism. 